Hey, what is up guys and girls? Uh, I'm gonna bring you another video here with an amazing use case for the functional options pattern. I also uh, already recently made a video about that, um, also about the builder pattern. Um, the question about that is, what should we use the functional options of the builder pattern? Well, actually it depends. And in this use case, I choose, I choose chosen for the uh, functional options pattern. Uh, what I'm doing is basically I'm creating an, um, a validation package. Uh, actually, I've been cooking something very amazing for you guys, but you need to have you need to have a little bit of a patience before it's actually uh, ready to show you on GitHub. Uh, so basically, I'm going to show you what's what's going on here. So we have this rule func, right? And this rule func is basically just a function. It's a type, right? It's a, a rule func type, and the only thing it does it basically um, is a function that returns a rule set, right? And a rule set is basically just a strict with some fields and functions. So basically, how do we use that? Well, let me open up a test here, um, validate test. So you can see, for example, here, um, we have this function rules, and let me open up on the other screen here, guys. Validate, uh, rules, rules, rules. Where is this thing? Here. So we have this function rules here, and what rules does, it's a function that takes in a slice of rule funks, right? Basically here, for example, we have first name. This is actually a bad example here to check for email, but we can say, for example, required. We can also say email. We can say, okay, it needs to be a minimum uh, 10 characters long and a maximum of uh, 50, right? So you can see it takes in uh, a variable amount of uh, rule funks and that's basically the functional options pattern what right? because you can add as many as you want but you can also basically add uh, none at all right like this which makes no sense but just to show you you could do something similar with the builders pattern for example rules min 10 max uh 50 that's perfectly fine but in this case i prefer the functional options pattern with uh, which will basically be something that you can uh, completely customize yourself right you can you will be able to create these uh, custom rule sets depending on what you need of course there will be some standard rule sets uh, for emails required minimum maximum and all that stuff but you can imagine i can imagine that people have very complex validations from time to time and you can actually create uh, a custom rule set that just actually needs to be a rule funk. Isn't that complex? I know, but uh, it's it's fine. It's it's amazing, guys. Trust me. So basically, um, how this validation package will work? It's very simple. You say, for example, I have a first name here. I'm going to say it needs to be, uh, for example, required uh, a minimum of ten, uh, like this, and a maximum of I don't know 100 or something. You know what I mean? And then you can also uh, it will basically give you a custom. Uh, a default error message right but you can customize that let me close these things here real quick uh, but you can say for example I want a custom message so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna say for example uh, the name needs to be present I don't know some some kind of your own custom validation message that you can provide here right that's actually it um, in my opinion a very good use case for the functional options pattern some people like it some people don't let me know what you think about this. Thanks for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Give me a thumbs up. Jump into my Discord community. And I'm looking forward to see you in my next video or live stream. Love you all.